Deuteronomy 21, 5. Venegashu ha kohanim bene levi, ki vam bachar adonai elohecha, le shorto u levarech bashem adonai, ve al pihem yehye koriv ve chol naga. So we get here now the priests entering the scene. Uh, these priests are the sons of Levi. So these two words are standing in apposition. We might say the priests, namely the sons of Levi. They shall draw near or they shall approach. Here we have a vekatal form, a PL perfect third common plural of the root uh, nagash, to draw near or to step forward. And they shall step forward, namely the priests, the sons of Levi. My parentheses got a little out of hand there. Why shall they step forward? For or because them the Lord your God, serving as the subject here, has chosen. So we have here a call, perfect, third masculine singular, and you can see the verbal root there. Now one thing to keep in mind is that some verbs use a preposition to uh, mark their direct object, and bachar is one of those. And so this bait here is just marking the direct object of bachar. Um, when I learned the word bachar on my vocabulary card, I learned it with the preposition. Bachar ba is how I learned it, and it was indicating the thing chosen. So them, fronted, them the Lord your God chose to serve him. Here we have a call infinitive construct of the verbal root sharat, to serve him, with a third masculine singular pronominal suffix, and to bless the name of the Lord. And so here we have a PL infinitive construct of the verbal root beit resh kaf. Both of these have that lamed preposition on the front of them, to serve and to bless in the name of the Lord. Then we get, and upon their mouth, in other words, upon their mouth, the, uh, based on their word, it will exist every contention and every, uh, this word is interesting, every uh, blow, every assault, uh, every violent crime, something like that. Now, I think this is uh, understood to be every contention, maybe a, a dispute between two people, and every punishment, what's going to be the blow as a result of that, this is going to be something the priests decide, and it's upon their mouth. 